there is Latin hip hop, and then there's Latinos doing hip hop. Tony G um, is uh, uh, probably the the pioneer of Latin hip hop, you know. And you know, I don't know how it feels about it, but you know, that's that's the label we were given, and that's that's what he created. He started me out. He gave Kid Frost his entire ideal and and image and the whole style that he came out with La Raza and Mentirosa for for Mellow Man Ace. Right. And he he told those guys, you need to rap in Spanish. You need to do a song like this that that what you're about, where you were where you were brought up. What you're all about, that's what you need to rap about. Because Tony Jean and Julio G were the first ones to bring us into producing music. And the first artist we worked with was Kid Frost. The next one was Mellow Ace. And, and, and uh, these kids, uh, Lighter Shade of Brown, ODM and them, right. we worked with them as well. Um, so, I mean, that was our world at that point in time. So we weren't thinking uh, we were Latin guys doing it, we were just doing it. You know? I've always considered me and Mellow Man Ace, Lewis and Clark of like Latino rap. because. They didn't know how to play a rec records that were in half Spanish and half English on the radio. They just didn't know how to do it. And it took a long time for them to really like get radio station program directors to embrace that those two records. Mentirosa. Well, um, Send Dog and I met through his brother Melo. I used to hang out with Melo first. You know, we knew a, a group of people, a mutual group of people, and we'd all hang out during the break dancing days and whatnot. And Mello was like the first of our little circle to start, you know, rapping. I think just the movement, seeing um, Latino artists like Cypress Hill, the Beat Nuts, you know, um, the Terror Squad in the East Coast, you know, there was a, and then you had the whole movement and, you know. Well, I mean, it's desperate. It's a desperate move. Only desperate people settle for what anybody tells you who you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? I would never settle for that. I never did that. I did a record with Latinos because those were my friends. That was it. It wasn't Latin hip hop. I had nothing to do with Latin or hip hop. I didn't give a fuck who you were. We were just rapping and making some hip hop music. I hate it. I fucking despise it. But it's not though, you know? And that's their fucking problem. I will take a stance. I'm not afraid to take a stance. It's not gonna hurt me. It's, it's fucking whack. It's whack. It's whack the fact that you tend to section your, yourself off like that. Well, let's put it this way. I'm Mexican, that makes me Latin. And I make a living off of hip hop. There's nothing wrong with Latin hip hop. Okay. It is what it is. You know, I like to add Latin parts into my songs. Latin is my culture, but hip hop has become, you know, uh, a part of my life as well. So Latin hip hop, of course it makes sense to me. You know what I mean? I said, I, I'm not offended by it at all, you know, but at the same time, it's like putting us in a box. Like, I don't really spit. <clears throat> when I rap, I'm not rapping in Spanish, so why would you put me as a Latino rapper? You know what I'm saying? I'm not here right. spitting. If you, even if I was doing bilingual, I would understand it, but I'm, I don't even, I don't spit. I mean, I may say a few Spanish words here and there, but I'm not a Latino rapper, you know what I mean? I'm Latin here. That's just who I am. Because um, before, you know, when I, when I was rapping back in the day, um, my manager like, oh, you don't want to get pigeonholed and that, and you can get stuck in that, you know? And I was like, it, it was hard, but I, honestly, now I'm proud. I'm like, I'm, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it. It's like, it's, you know, they put a stamp on Latin hip hop. I don't see them putting a stamp on like black hip hop or you white know, hip hop. Yeah, white, it's just hip hop. But I don't know. I think it's, it's kind of like a, like a pedestal kind of. You know, they're connecting Latin with hip hop. I think it's great. Before it's really hard to put a, a label on, on hip hop because hip hop is supposed to be everything. You know, Eminem is hip hop. He's not white hip hop. Um, you know, uh, Biggie was hip hop. He wasn't black hip hop. Of course, hip hop originally was coming from a, from a part of society that was underprivileged and right. disenfranchised. So it spoke from the streets. Now, whatever those streets are made up of, that's where hip hop came from. So in my barrio, I'm Latino coming from there. Does that make Latin hip hop? No, I'm just hip hop. I happen to be Latino, but I'm an MC.